What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today you're about to see how I cooked up for a sample flip challenge. So for this challenge we were time limited so I had a very short amount of time to cook up the hardest beat that I possibly could and boy oh boy did it come out hard. But anyways you're going to see exactly how I did this under pressure and I was able to get things done super super quickly so that I had an amazing trap beat done at the very end. So if you're ready for this one, let's jump right into it. All right, so we're going in, we're doing this sample flip contest now. We only have an hour to do it, so we're going to be going fast. Um, we're going to be trying to mix it as we go, too. There's not going to be a lot of extra time for that. So I'm going to go ahead and find the sample, which is this one. And it's 125 BPM, so we're going to get going right away with this. All right, we got it chopped up into three different sections here. First thing I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate this down. We're going to let this intro keep all the bassy parts in it. So we're going to save this layer for the intro up here. We're going to get rid of it down here because we're going to cut the lows out of it in this part. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to cheat and pull this part over right here really quick. And I'm just going to start lining up the 808s. And by the way, for this beat, we're going to be using samples strictly from my drum kit. So I'm not jumping around searching everywhere. So if you guys want to get some high quality sounds like this, um, there's going to be a link in the description below. You can go ahead and grab it there. Cool, that sounds right. And one thing that we can do really quickly just to double check is actually take this. And we'll slide it where there's already a sample in place here. We'll do a harmony and we'll just see if it's going to give us the bass notes or not. Just to double, triple check this really quick. Even though it sounds like it's on to me. Okay, so it's actually saying we got A and F. Okay, so that does sound right. All right, good thing we checked that out. Otherwise, we would have been way off there. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start creating it. I'm actually going to zero out this 808 for now. We're going to come back to that later. I just wanted to find the notes because the 808 is probably going to be the part that we're spending the most time on, to be completely honest. So let's go into the drum kit now and start getting a, a clap and a snare to play with. All right, let's move on to the hi-hats now. We'll use this one. All right, so we got the hi-hat kind of wrapped up, at least for now. We might add a little bit of pizzazz to it later, but this is just a MIDI that I had, so to speed up the process a little bit, that's what we were using. So let's go ahead and get an open hi-hat now. Let's also get this reverse hi-hat in here. All right, we're gonna put an off offset snare in here as well. I mean, it might be too much, but we'll know. I mean, we wanna have more than enough, if anything, in here. Let's use this serpent snare. All right, I think we'll use a pattern like this. Put a little extra one here at the end just to mix it up a little bit. All right, let's start building out this 808 pattern. We're gonna keep this 808 pattern a little more simple and then we'll do a couple like crazy rolls on every four bars or something like that. So we'll do something over around this area. Let's try something like that. Awesome. Make sure to extend these notes out so that way the full 808's playing. And 
then we'll go ahead and put some sort of a roll similar to this one over here. It's not going to be exactly the same, so we're not going to copy it over. So that way we don't accidentally do the same thing. But um, we'll probably use a higher octave and this one instead of going lower, because the F down here is not going to sound as good. It sounds destroyed. So we're going to use the same octave and then go up an octave as well. I'm thinking like some triplets here. There's some basic triplets. Dun, dun, dun. And then maybe up an octave like this. So something simple like this. We'll see how this works out. Yeah, see that sounds really perfect. It's not too crazy. It's not doing too much. So that's going to be something really good. You know, that artist can still jump on and that could actually win a battle without being like over the top. We don't want it to be too over the top. Turn this one up a little bit. This one as well. All right, we'll have these descend downward a little bit. I don't know if it's going to be too much, so we'll play with it a little bit, but we'll have that we'll do it in both spots here. I think what we're going to do just to make this sound a little more cohesive is actually move these on beat right here. Actually, let's go ahead and maybe double it up here. Let's see how this sounds. Cool, so I also want to switch up the 808, make it a little bit different on the second part, just so it's not doing the same thing the whole entire time. So what we're going to do here is copy this over and work on this section now. And what we're going to do is probably just add a couple notes. put another one in here right before that goes off all right so we have 41 minutes left so we're doing pretty good actually with time um, using that hi-hat MIDI helped out a lot and the hi-hats came to or the 808s came together really really well all right, so what we're gonna do is on this second part, actually, we're gonna have a kick come in. So let's go ahead and grab a kick. I wanna grab one that's not as crazy as this KO kick here. This No Mercy sounds good right here. It's not quite as fat. And let's go ahead and get this going with the 808 now. A sounds good, so let's keep it on A. I think with the kicks, we're just going to keep going down, descending right here, because I do want to keep them in here. I just don't want them to be that loud at this part. So let's see how this is going to sound. Right, and I think that actually sounds good over here with these kicks, how they're descending like that. They're not too noticeable or crazy. And I might just mess with these a little bit more. Since we're doing good on time, we have 35 minutes still. Let's go ahead and see if we can add a percussion in here or something like that. This woo perk sounds pretty dope. Let's go ahead and actually turn it up a little bit though. All right, we'll just have it come in on this part, but let's play with the octaves or the different notes a little bit because let's see if it could sound better. Maybe up an octave. Let's see how that sounds. Ooh, see, yeah, that sounds way, way better right there. Okay, now we're going to go into the mixing phase and start mixing everything together.
Sounds good. All right, something like that sounds good. Let's go ahead and start to level this a little bit. So we'll start off with the lead, the instruments, the kicks, and the 808, because I think we already had these all matched up good. Let's just listen to it again. Yeah, it sounds hard. Start with the clap. Open hi hats. In the hi hat. From listening to this, I know that in the percussion pattern, we're just gonna take out the one that's playing here and just leave the double. We don't need it playing as often. That double sounds good by itself. So we're gonna do that, copy it over. That's sounding pretty darn good. We can go ahead and turn the mono off now. Okay, so I'm actually taking out these kicks at the end here. I noticed it was getting a little too crazy and it was kind of fucking up the mix a little bit. So that's fine though. We'll just do that and we'll be straight to go. I'm actually going to start arranging this and getting my final things down here. So I'm going to add my tag in right now. Fearless, run it up. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to have the drums come in right before the drop right here. And we'll have a little transition lead up to that as well. Okay, one thing that I want to do is also put that um, pancake on this little perk right here. I think it sounds cool, but it's kind of in the range of everything else that's going on. So if it could pan from left to right, that would be really awesome. So let's see if we can figure that out here. Okay, and we'll turn down the mix just a little bit. Actually, okay, first, before we do another transition is what we're going to do is take the drums out really quick right here. And then... We'll let them come back in, but taking them out for just a second will be kind of a cool little transition into this next part with the melody. So let's see how this is done. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put a transition right here and also right here in between the different parts that drop. Then we'll reverse that same transition right here and put it right here. Also, the 808s kind of go crazy right here, so what happens if we take all the drums out in this section? Let's just see what this would sound like. Alright, and we'll also take it all out just for this last little part right here. See how that sounds. That'll be fine. We'll leave all these things in here like like we did at the intro right here. And we'll bring this transition in for these as well. All right, so I took a little bit of a break. The first thing that I'm going to do is listening to it on my speakers to see how everything's sounding on the speakers. And then we're going to go back to the headphones. Fearless, run it up.
Okay, so on the speakers, it sounded phenomenal. I, there's nothing I want to change. There's nothing that I needed to change. It sounds like one of the better mixes I've had yet. So nothing to complain about there. Um, we're just going to listen to it on the headphones now. I don't even really need to change anything. It sounded so good on the speakers, but we'll just go through it one more time. And then we're going to export this beat. Oh, I'll put the ozone master on it, but I'm not going to go crazy on the master since I don't have much time right now. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap up this video. That's how I went ahead and made this trap beat for the sample flip challenge in such a limited time frame. So you got to see my process and how I went through each step to make sure that I made the hardest beat I possibly could in that amount of time. And as you see, I only use drums for my drum kit. So if you guys are interested in grabbing that and you want some high quality sounds, the link for that is going to be in the description below and you can go check that out. Also guys, if you don't know, I am doing one-on-one -on -one mentoring sessions. So if you want a chance to get better at your craft, if there's things that you need explained better or if there's something that I can help you with one-on-one -on -one personally, um, take a look at my website. I'll put a little image of it up here on the screen right now. Uh, take a look at it and see if it'd be right for you because we've been getting quite a few of them lately. So if you are interested in that, make sure to schedule something as soon as possible because I think we already have a few of them set up this weekend. So it'd be have to, it would have to be the next weekend in advance or a weekend after that. So get in as quick as you can if you want to schedule something and then we'll see what we can do. Um, besides that, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end of this one. Uh, hopefully you guys learned a lot because this was a badass tutorial and I cooked up a really hard beat. And um, besides that, I'll be catching you guys again in the next one. Peace out, gang.